Okay, so basically this is the stomach. The stomach has two openings, two notches, and two walls. So this is the anterior wall of the stomach. Here would be the posterior wall of the stomach. The stomach has two main openings. It has an opening for the esophagus, which is here. This is the cardia. This is known as the cardia. This is where the lower part of the esophagus, or the abdominal portion of the esophagus, goes into the stomach, into the cardia opening. This cardia opening also has a cardiac notch over here. This is basically the cardiac notch. And this cardiac notch is going to be at the level, well, the cardiac opening is at the level of T11, T10 or T11. It can go all the way from T10 to T11. That's because the esophagus goes from thoracic one to thoracic 10. The cardiac notch, if you draw, okay, so this is the anterior wall. This is the cardiac opening. Here is your pylorus. This is known as the pylorus. There is the pyloric antrum and the pyloric canal. Okay, so to talk about the stomach's curvature, this is going to be your greater curvature. It's the wider one at the bottom, greater curvature. Above that, you're going to have your lesser curvature. The lesser curvature goes from the cardiac opening down here. At the flat part of the lesser curvature, you're going to have another notch. This notch is known as the angular notch. So, so far, you've had two openings. This is the cardia opening, the pylorus opening, the anterior wall. You have the greater curvature here, the lesser curvature here. Now, in terms of where the parts are, this part from the cardiac notch to the greater curvature, a line drawn here, separates the fundus, this is the fundus, from the body of the stomach. So here, again, line from cardiac notch to the greater curvature separates the fundus from the body. Now, here you also have your um, angular notch. Your angular notch drawn to the greater curvature gives you something called the pylorus antrum. This triangle is known as the pylorus antrum and following from the pylorus antrum you have your pyloric canal and your pyloric opening. You also have two sphincters. Here you're going to have your cardiac sphincter, here you're going to have your pyloric sphincter. The pyloric sphincter is made up of smooth muscle which helps push everything outside of the stomach further into the duodenum. Here connects the duodenum of the small intestine, the first half an inch to an inch of the duodenum is the first initial part of the duodenum which connects into the pylorus opening. And something else to note, basically here on the inside surface of the um, stomach, here um, our teacher said that there was um, a deficiency or some sort of abnormality which causes this structure, but what it should be is more like this. These are called your rug rugae or your mucosal rugae and they're basically longitudinal infoldings on the inside. So that's, that's to increase surface area, to maximize absorption, blah blah blah.